There's some new information tonight in an ongoing I-Team investigation into mysterious notes with cryptic messages found in food and other products around the state. Yeah, those notes are also being found in state parks as well. And 2822 News I-Team reporter Andy Mahalschik has been following the story. And he joins us in the studio with what we've learned today. Andy? Well, Nick and Cass, this story is developing in real time. The I-Team right now is working on several solid leads as to where these notes may be coming from, their origin. Also, who might be responsible for these messages on these notes. All of that is a work in progress. Stay tuned. And we continue to hear from people from all over Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania and beyond, people who want to weigh in on these notes. The I-Team first reported word of these mystery notes two weeks ago when a man found a note inside a plastic bag inside a sealed box of cereal he purchased in Luzerne County. I mean, it just bothers me. That, I mean, the note really, it's not the note that really bothers me. It's just what was, it's, uh, these notes are found inside food, like kids, kids' food. And since that initial report, we have heard from dozens of people from across northeastern and central Pennsylvania and beyond. This map shows where notes have been found in a wide variety of food products as well as other products like beauty supplies. The notes have also been found pinned to trees at state parks all across the Commonwealth. All of these notes are similar in that they contain a variety of words referencing current and past world events, pop culture, business and conspiracy theories. The I-Team is working several leads as to the origin of the notes and who might be responsible for putting those notes in those products. That is a work in progress. Stay tuned. Now, people from all across the area continue to reach out to the I-Team with theories about what is going on. We spoke to a woman from Luzerne County who says she found a note several years ago in a box of cookies and didn't know what to make of it. She then saw our recent reports and has been analyzing the notes in those reports. She describes herself as a very intuitive person. She did not want to be identified, but wanted to weigh in. So I actually think this is one of the most important aspects of this story. I think that this person themselves, um, you know, could be someone that is labeled in our society as having some sort of a mental issue. Um, but the way that this is written, this person is actually very intelligent, very up to date with, you know, things that throughout our history that are definitely easily investigated um, and just things that are going on in our present day. Again, the I-Team is working on several leads we can confidently call solid leads as to where and how these notes were placed in the products, as well as whom or what groups may be responsible. Again, a work in progress. Stay tuned. You can see all of our reports on our website, pahomepage.com. Nick and Cannes, back to you. Thanks, Andy.